Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'll be showing you guys my everyday makeup and skincare routine inspired by Vogue. So my first step of my makeup routine always is to start off with washing my face and there's no better than my CeraVe Foaming Cleanser. I absolutely love this cleanser and I feel like I need to make a disclaimer because the way I'm about to hype up all of these products, I need you guys to know that none of these products are sponsored, um, I'm not getting paid for any of these. It's just honestly my honest opinion and I just love these products I'm about to put you guys on hopefully. Back to CeraVe, I absolutely love this foaming cleanser. I feel like it does such a good job of just giving you like a fresh start, especially at night. It takes off all of my makeup, like I don't use wipes. I do not recommend using wipes. Guys, if you use wipes, please stop. <laughs> but um, yeah, this foaming cleanser takes off absolutely everything. So after my CeraVe, I love to go in with my Paula's Choice Salicylic Acid Toner and guys if you haven't heard of this I'm truly honoured to put you guys on because I've gone through like maybe six bottles of this and I have like another one coming in the post and I love it literally got rid of like all my pores I usually apply onto my t-zone areas um, especially around places that can get a lot of product and get clogged up throughout the day when I apply this first it literally gets rid of everything and I really like it. So next I apply this Ren Brightening Eye Cream. I really love this product and guys, I'm literally saying I love every product, but I really do, like trust me, I love them. <laughs> this eye cream is just so hydrating, especially when I wear my creamed products under my eyes, it prevents creasing and I feel like that's such a good hack. Whenever you're wearing concealers and powders, make sure your under eyes is moisturized. That prevents a lot of creasing later throughout the day. So next, sunscreen. I always wear sunscreen every single day, no matter if it's cloudy, no matter if it's raining, if it's a day, I'm wearing sunscreen. The two that I'm currently interchanging with is the Murad City Skin Age Defense SPF 50. I really love this one because it's SPF 50, which is amazing. And the second sunscreen that I'm currently using is the Dermalogica Prisma Protect. It's so lightweight and I don't feel like I need to apply any moisturiser after. For my everyday, I usually just whack this on and no moisturiser after and I feel like that's what I really need. Today I actually want to do my base first and I'm going to start off with this Glossier Future Do. This gives a lovely glow to my makeup, like a glow within, healthy vibes, you know, I love it all. And with this product, a little bit goes a long way. Next, I'm going to go in with my Huda Beauty Stick Foundation. I just apply a few stripes to both of my cheeks and blend it in with a brush. I mainly apply this to the outer corner of my face and not really under my eyes because I'm going to apply concealer later on and I don't want to apply too many products in the same area. I'm going to go in with my Lancome Concealer. I'm going to apply this under my eyes and a few points here and there. I love this concealer simply because it's very lightweight, not too heavy, so I feel like it's quite buildable without getting cakey too fast and guys if you haven't realized i don't want it to be cakey <laughs> i said a few points and i managed to get across half my face i'm just going to use my damp beauty blender to blend this out this is by morphe i believe and it's honestly lasted me quite a while next i'm going to go in with the glossier solar paint this has such a nice brush that i can just dot it in the places that i want bronzing it's a mixture between my contour shade and blush shade. Then I like to set the rest of my face with the Laura Mercier translucent powder and a hack that I love to do is put some powder on the back of the lid and then put it on the back of my hand. This helps prevent too much product going onto the beauty blender then onto my face. Now for my favourite part, blush. I use the Charlotte Tilbury blush in Walk of No Shame I believe. Got this for my birthday last year and I've been wearing it every day since and I'm not ashamed to say it. I apply this to the apples of my cheeks, smile a little bit, put some on my nose too. Honestly, nobody can tell me that there's too much blush because I don't care. I just get a fluffy brush and apply the same shade to my eyelids. I also like to just drag it out a bit so everything just blends in together. Moving on to my eye makeup, I tend to apply a brown eyeliner and create a wing effect on a daily basis, but if it's a nighttime type of look, I tend to go for black, but brown just feels a lot more subtle to me. I'm gonna use this Revolution eyeliner in So Fierce. I'm gonna create a wing first and then slowly bring that in and smoke that out. 
Next for my lashes, I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. This is also in brown. I feel like it's just a subtle colour that's not too harsh, but I love it for every day. For my brows, I go in such a weird routine, I think. I like to apply gels first before I apply any pencils or anything like that. The gel that I like is the Glossier Boy Brow in Clear. Then I like to fill in my brows with a brown eyebrow pencil i'm not really fussy about what eyebrow pencil as long as it's quite thin today i'll be using the next fluff and fill i like to follow the shape of my bottom brow and then just slowly blend it in after i fill in my brows i like to lightly conceal and i do that with the Too faced born this way concealer i apply a small amount to the back of my hand and get a brush lightly dabble in there before i start shaping the bottom bit of my brows for my lips i line it with the mac lip liner in chestnut this is the perfect shade of brown for me then i love to top that off with my kiko lip gloss last but not least because i want my makeup to stay on all day i use the charlotte tilbury airbrush setting spray and this really helps my makeup stay on even when i'm wearing a mask so that's the end of today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please make sure to give it a like and subscribe down below and let me know what other videos you'd like to see from me